2020, a year that was a tipping point for US elections. The coronavirus still plagued America. And after losing the presidency to Joe Biden, then President Donald Trump made false claims that the election was rigged. It was a time of uncertainty. And as Trump continued to push the false narrative, election workers across the country became targets, with some even receiving death threats. You'll see things like, you should be drawn and quartered for mistakes that happen. In the years since 2020, there's been a wave of retirements and resignations in election offices across the country, wiping away decades of institutional knowledge and experienced workers. In North Carolina, almost one third of election directors left their jobs. In Arizona, at least 12 of 15 counties lost one top election official. In another western swing state, Nevada, election directors in 11 of 17 counties will be overseeing their first presidential election next year. And in Pennsylvania, officials estimate 40 of the state's 67 county election offices have new directors or deputy directors. After November 22, I really almost left my job because it wasn't worth it to me. The void of seasoned election officials has created a new problem. Inexperienced and untested replacements, who were under heavy scrutiny as the 2022 election approached. And it all came to a head in one Pennsylvania county. Luzerne County, Pennsylvania, Election Day 2022. The phones started ringing at Luzerne County Bureau of Elections shortly after polls opened. Urgent calls were coming in from poll workers. They were running low on paper to print ballots for voters. The top two officials in the office had been in their positions for less than three months. They scrambled to the department's warehouse in search of more paper, but with no luck. What they had on hand was the wrong kind, ordered long ago and too thick to meet requirements for their ballot printers. On election day, poll workers were worried they were going to run out. And voters were worried they might not be able to vote. Accusations quickly began to fly. If we had good management, those problems wouldn't have happened. This once solidly democratic county had turned red, voting for President Trump in 2016 and 2020. Now people feared Republican polling places were being targeted and their vote was being suppressed. The local district's attorney's office got involved, launching a formal investigation of what became known locally as Papergate. Months later, the paper shortage would be the subject of a congressional hearing. At that point, I think we were a year into the investigation. I didn't have any information of voter suppression whatsoever. I just didn't see how you could entitle the hearing voter suppression and make it look like a deliberate act when no one that testified at the hearing really provided such information. In the end, the district attorney's office concluded there was no foul play or suppression. It was just a terrible oversight caused by inexperienced workers who didn't order enough paper. There was a belief that there was enough paper, there wasn't, but I think it was really, it, it was just a, an oversight. It was a big oversight, but it was an oversight. While there was no foul play, the damage was done. The incident only exacerbated doubts and distrust within the community and among voters already skeptical of elections. It was an example of how voter suppression fears could spread quickly before the facts were known and an example of how inexperienced election workers can struggle to prepare. It's on-the-job training for those folks. You could do on-the-job training for certain positions. I think elections is not one of them because it happens every six, six months. You have a primary and you have a general election. Many election workers, inexperienced or not, are aware of the spotlight on them as they now prepare for the 2024 elections, knowing that even small mistakes can lead to deeper mistrust and threats. There are no redos of election day. Everything has to be right, and it has to be right every time. In Luzerne County, Pennsylvania, Sarkan Gürbüz, The Associated Press.